Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Briggs. I'm coming to you tonight from my deck. I am hanging out back here underneath the starry sky. I can see, oh, I can see Jupiter and Cassiopeia and the, just barely make out the Great Dipper. It's still a little too foggy out to make out much anything else. It's so nice to have a warm night finally. Um, we're going to do lesson uh, filling and wrapping 2.0 today. And uh, 2.0 is kind of just a brief introduction on what volume is and what we're finding with volume. And our goal today is that we can find surface area and volume in a rectangular prism, also called a box. Okay, so here we have a box. Okay, now this box, let's say, is 5 inches wide and let's say it is 10 inches long okay now let's say I put a bunch of cubes inside this box okay one inch cubes now I'll use a different color maybe okay I have a bunch of 10 inch cubes here or I'm sorry one inch cubes and five of them fit this way Okay, and ten of them fit this way. Okay, how many cubes fit on this first layer? Well, on this first layer, I'd be able to fit five times ten. I would able to be I would be able to fit fifty cubes on the first layer. Okay. But now, let's say this box is 5 inches high. Now, I've got to figure out how many cubes will this whole box fill. Well, if it's 5 inches high, I can make how many layers? Okay? Go ahead and play Door the Explorer and answer me. If each layer is 1 inch and it's 5 inches tall, how many layers can I fit? Well, 5 layers. So I take that 50 and I multiply it by 5. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 5 is 25. I get 250 cubes total will fit inside this box. Now what did I really do here? Well I multiplied the length of this box by the width of this box by the height of this box. And that leads us to finding the volume of the box. How many cubes will a box hold? And that is where we have our super awesome tool number two. And our super awesome tool number two is finding the volume of a rectangular prism or a box. Now, uh, volume is a fancy way of saying how much will it hold. Okay? Now, how much will it hold? Well, first off, we do width times length times height. So in my example here, how wide is this box? Well, let's uh, label things here. If that's my width, and that's my length, and that's my height, I would do 3 for my width, 5 for my length, times 8 for my height. So we get 3 times 5 times 8, all in a row. And if you need a calculator for this one, that makes perfect sense. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and solve this next one. Well, we have one inch wide, seven inches tall, and seven inches long. And volume, remember, is what? Width times length times height. Well, it's one wide times seven long times 7 high 1 times 7 times 7 is 49 inches cubed okay see if you can race me with this one I did not label all the steps well I need to do width times length and then I need to do height times length then I need to do height times width well how wide is this guy this guy is one wide, he is seven long, he is seven high, he is 
seven long. He is seven high and he is one inch wide. Seven times seven, seven times one, I'm sorry, is seven. Plus seven times seven is 49. Plus seven times one is seven. So using my handy dandy calculator, we get seven plus 49 plus seven times two. If you remember, gives me 126 inches squared because this is two dimensional. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, hopefully, your answers match my answers. Hopefully, you've been following along. Hopefully, you've got a good idea how to do this. If not, we can always rewind and try again. So, your job then is to go ahead and complete the rest on your own. Have fun.